Beth Stern. It's Bulldog Love. No more bullshit. This is a Howard 100 News Brief. I'm Mike Hambrick. You all know Bulldogs are near and dear to Beth and Howard Stern, so it was only fitting the Long Island Bulldog Rescue Fundraising event Tuesday night was entitled Beth Stern's Benefit for the Bulldogs. Beth had this challenge for all in the audience. I just want to stand here and say that fostering an animal, fostering a bulldog, has been one of the most rewarding experiences of my life. And I'm thinking if every single person in this room were able to foster one bulldog in the next two years, Lorette and her crew can continue to do what she's doing and have more people, therefore, to foster, therefore, can rescue hundreds and hundreds of more bulldogs. Howard 100 News will kick your ass. Howard 100 News continues to delve into the psyche of Stern staffers as we learn what's on Ronnie the limo driver and Scott the engineer's someday maybe list. It's Howard 100 News. You need to know. What's on Scott Salem's someday maybe list? I don't have a someday maybe list because if, even if I did have a someday maybe list, it wouldn't fucking happen anyway. <laughs> so what's the fucking point? All right? Happy holidays. We all have dreams. Even people so close to death, like Scott the Engineer and Ronnie the Limo Driver Mund, have dreams. Now we heard Scott the Engineer's pathetic someday maybe list. Now let's find out what's on Ronnie's list. What's on Ronnie Mund's someday maybe list? To fucking kill you and break that microphone over your head, stick it up your ass as far as it can go. And then after that, I want to own a NASCAR team. That's what I want to do. And that's it? Just two things? Yeah. Just killing me and shoving the mic up my ass and owning a NASCAR team. Yeah. Thank you. You got a better shot of owning a NASCAR team, turd burglar. Bring it on. Shuli Agar, Howard 100 News. Stern Show writer Sal Govanelli's turtle epoch continues to dominate his conscious and subconscious mind. He's like a man possessed. It's as if he wants to return to his shell life. I've actually started researching turtles. And you want to hear something pretty amazing? The turtle's shell represents heaven, the top. The bottom of the shell represents the earth. And the animal in the center, 